previous video which showed how to solve a linear optimization problem with the LP solve in R. Um, we looked at a problem where we had an objective function with um, the um, yeah with the function 2x plus 3y and the problem had the constraint that um, x plus y could not be greater than 3 um, and also there was the constraint that the variables um, had to be greater or equal to 0 and that the variables were from the continuous space. The optimal solution to this problem was um, y equals 3 and x equals 0 and the optimal um, objective function value was 9. In this video I want to show how to um, model and solve um, linear optimization problems where the variables are from the discrete space, so an integer optimization problem with uh, integer values instead of continuous values. Um, for this we look at a slightly modified version of this problem. Um, the objective function is still the same, however now instead of the constraint x plus 3 um, less or equal to 3, I have the constraint that x plus y um, have to be less or equal to 3.9. First, in this piece of code I solve an, or I model and solve a problem with LP solve again with the default setting of the variables being from the continuous space. So I build here a vector with the coefficients of the objective function. I build a matrix with the, yeah, basically in each row the coefficients of the constraint functions. Um, I provide a vector with the direction of the constraints and I provide a vector with the constraint values. Um, these vectors I feed to the LP function from the LP solve package um, and the goal or the, the, um, the version of this problem is a maximization problem. Um, I get an LP solve object which um, is at one side a model and on the other side already the solution to the problem and we can see the optimal objection function value to this problem is 11.7 uh, and here I output the optimal solution which would be that at x equals to 0 and y equals to 3.9. This is also what we would have expected considering the solution to the problem here where the constraint was x plus y small or equal to 3. Now I adjust the problem um, and I tell the LP function to model this problem as an integer problem and I can tell the LP function which of the variables should be um, integer variables. So in this case I want x to be from the continuous space but I want to add the constraint that y has to be from the discrete space so y must be an integer value. And you can see here I provide the same vectors as input to the LP function, but I provide one additional vector here, which is a vector with the indexes of the variables that are integer variables. So in this case, I have two variables in the problem, and I tell the function, um, the LP function down here, by providing the int vec um, input that the second variable in my problem, which is the y variable, is an integer variable. This is what I'm telling the function here. So now LP will provide a model and a solution to this problem, considering the constraints as just explained before, of the objective function as well as the fact that this is a maximization problem, but it will also consider the fact that only x is from the continuous space and y, the second variable, is from the discrete space the default um, constraint that both variables have to be non-negative is still true in this case. So we can see now the solution is um, worse. Um, before the solution was 11.7, now it's 10.8. This makes sense since we added an additional constraint to the problem which was the um, integer constraint for the second variable. And we see now that the optimal solution to this problem is no longer 0 and 3.9 but instead x equals to 0 0.9 and y equals to 3. In the description of this video you can find a link to um, a blog post where the full code for this example is provided. 